Today's quote of the day is let your imagination run wild and have fun. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. We will be discussing in today's episode the importance of creativity and how to foster in young children around us. One of the main ways of developing creative thinking in children is to urge them to wonder. When you're with them, ask them questions like, why is the sky blue? Why does the ocean have waves instead of ripples like a pond? By having them think like this, it really enhances their imagination and they develop a good sense of problem solving skills that you're gonna want them to have. When encouraging creative thinking, we can't forget about the importance of giving children space and free time. Put a pause on all the activities in extracurricular and it's a great opportunity for children to get lost in their thoughts. Creativity usually sparks out of boredom. So leave them alone in their rooms or their play spaces and let them explore the space around them. Encourage your children to read for pleasure. We all know how easy it is to be given an iPad, an iPhone, or even just sit in front of our computers and entertain ourselves for hours. By allowing your child to read and explore different kinds of books, it'll give you insight into what they're interested in and what they want to learn about, and it'll allow you the ability to learn more about your child. Dramatic play, probably one of my favorite spots in every classroom. Not to mention, you can bring this type of area into the comfort of your own home. Children love to be in this area and this is where their imagination runs wild. Did your child show an interest in watching you bake cookies? Set up an area in the house as a bake shop. You can add all sorts of materials. Books, papers, pens, costumes. The possibilities really are endless and this is a perfect place and opportunity to increase any child's creative thinking. Another great way to enhance your creativity is have them tell you a story. Don't give them any ideas, don't give them any insight, let them tell you, let them create the middle, sorry, the beginning, the middle, the end. Um, funny story, my brother, my sister, and I used to do this all the time. My parents used to make, encourage us to do so. So we would do where we were in a band and my sister was our manager and she had to go out and like book us gigs and then we had to perform in front of everybody. It was really fun and it's honestly some of the best memories we have until this day. I awkwardly have to use my hand, hold on. What is okay. happening? <laughs> so regarding that last clip, we thought we'd give this a go. One day, it was a sunny morning. The skies were blue and the birds were chirping. 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 And a girl named Elizabeth left her house. She got on her bike and started to ride down the street. And then... She ran into her best friend, whose name is Stacy. Um, I don't know where to really go with this. Mel needed more of this as a child. Oh yeah, I wasn't the one, the creative one. It was more so my brother and my sister and I just went along for the ride. A for effort in this moment. Take... Two. <clears throat> Once upon a time, a little boy named Mark went to the store and picked up a great big bag of potatoes. When he brought that bag of potatoes home, he reached inside and pulled out a... Snake. I'm not really good at this. <sighs> Yeah, I'm not really good at this. Mel's asking me to coach oh her on like, where my story's gonna go. She that has defeats, me on the spot. That defeats creative thinking. This is a beautiful thing. This is a great exercise that everyone can do. To okay, really let's get create a story and see how far we can take this. Okay, Mel, you go first, I feel. Okay, there once was this girl named Audrey. She liked to go for walks in her area and see what she can explore. One day she caught herself in her local ravine and she found a great big caterpillar. This caterpillar was hanging from the trees on this little web. And she said, but how is that possible? And then she looked up and she saw that it was actually best friends with a spider. And the spider's name was Blueberry. And then the blueberry spider climbed all the way down, sat on her shoulder and said to her, I love you, Audrey, Aubrey. I hope we're friends. <laughs> I suck at this. But A++ for trying, and that's what you want to encourage your kids to do. Going back to ways to express our creativity within children is to really set their surroundings up for success. Creativity will be sparked by a change in environment. Take them out for walks, take them to museums, to new attractions, um, after COVID, I guess, to other people's houses, meeting new people, and when possible, to explore and go to different countries. All of these different changes in environments will spark the creativity every single time. A really important thing I want to touch base on, something that I hope together we can all avoid. Um, it's a misunderstanding, sometimes we think it's the right thing to do. But um, as an educator, I strongly 
go against rewarding children for expressing their creativity. This isn't something that we want to reward. This is something that is beautiful and should always be done. When we reward for things, sometimes it lessens the chances of them continuing to do so. Um, once the rewards stop, let's say they get older or the person giving the rewards gets over it, then their desire to be creativity will also lessen. So let's refrain from rewarding when cre creativity shines. And that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode.